Welcome my friends. We're out here again for some more daily commitment. A little bit of exercise every day. We're gonna start with the pull-ups. We're starting with pull-ups today. We're gonna use our bands. We didn't use the bands yesterday or we didn't use them for the first set. Um, we only did three without the bands, but that's okay, that's okay. We're watching our elbow. I'd rather have a little less weight. Make sure you don't hurt that elbow. Here we go, one, two, Three, four, five. I think we're only gonna do five. I definitely feel that left elbow still. So instead of doing the max, which your max is eight, we're just gonna do five. This left elbow is still giving me some pain. Uh, it's right here. It's like this. It's right around the elbow here and here. And it's definitely these guys. It's not the push-ups that are doing it. So anyway. Push-ups, we're gonna do real light. These are only gonna be the burnouts. These are gonna be the halvesies. The halvesies, where you just go like this. Little guys. Just a few of these little guys, not too many. I did already two sets of these. This is the first thing I've done where I do them off camera because I was hitting a plateau on the push-ups. So these guys, oh, trying to break that plateau. The new thing with the halvesies. Hopefully he's gonna do that and also doing them more often. So we'll see how that goes. That's a little disappointing on the pull-ups, but I found if you push through the pain, yeah, that's dangerous. So we'll be okay with just five today, it's fine. We're gonna be doing it again tomorrow and the next day, so no worries. Ah, there's a bug on my back. Anyway, last thing is the squats. Now we have been doing the 45 pound weighted squats every day and we've been doing them real slow. But we did have some pain on that too. It was the left side, it was right here. So we're gonna do today, so we're gonna do the unweighted again. Now I still, still think I'm gonna take my time with them. This squat right here, the slower squat, you're gonna get a lot more exercise with your slower squat. I'm trying to make sure we've got my feet in just the right position here. Uh, nice and slow on the way down. Gives you all sorts. That's literally an ant. That was literally an ant on my elbow there. That's what you get for doing stuff on the ground, but it's okay. So when you come down here, this is the key part, right? <laughs> no, that was actually a little flying butt, right here. Right here, if you can hold it right there, you're really doing good, but I can feel that as I'm holding it right there, I can feel, would you get off of me, little guy? I can feel that that's where, I'm actually gonna change my angle of these feet. I'm gonna pull my feet in a little bit more. I can feel, I don't feel it quite as much with them. In a little bit but I can feel that's where definitely stressing them out some stressing out that inside inside muscle so we're just we're just doing a little faster here and that way it's not as hard but see then you're not getting as much exercise out of it so there's arguments both ways for sure but no matter what you'd rather do too little and maintain your daily commitment habit than do too much and hurt yourself same thing with those pull-ups. Just stopping there and making sure that I didn't have too much pain in my elbow was key. I'm actually gonna do a massage on camera here in a second. We're gonna talk about massage. Massage and sun are actually two things that are both recommended here. I've done some on my forearm massage. You guys might see me do that. So it's right here, right inside here. You can actually play with it while you're doing your squat and feel all right where is this where is this where is this key muscle you can also wiggle like this when you're in a squat position to feel what's giving you the pain it shouldn't be a searing pain this isn't a huge pain but it's definitely something i've got to watch if i come down like this if i come down like this and walk it i can help with it but you really want to take care of your body on those now the elbow pain's a little different. It's like here, here. It's like a ring here. And again, I'd rather take a little time to massage it and sit down here in this position and get a great stretch on my hips than try to bump out more exercises. Your massage is more valuable than your exercises. You're trying to release, let me show you this. You're trying to release these balled up muscles. So basically, knots in your muscles are formed when a section of your muscle doesn't relax. And you can help that with shooting hot water at it. If you have a little hot water shooter in your shower, 
you can massage it like this, right? There's one I was doing was awesome was with the tennis ball. You put the tennis ball down, you work it like that. That was to release my forearm flexor. That's where I was having pain before. But we've totally beat that forearm flexor pain. We don't have that pain anymore, guys. That pain's gone away. So it's a big improvement on our pull-ups to get rid of that pain. But we have another point that's, that's hurting us right now. So we just gotta watch that. Anyway, guys, keep it up. A little bit of exercise. Every day really does add up to a lot. We'll see you guys next time right here. Daily commitment, guys. Daily effing commitment.